guests with us here today before we finish. And uh, with me here, I have Donat Ponamariov from uh, Vietso. The floor is yours. Thank you, thank you. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Donat. I represent Vietso. Uh, so I'm going to talk a bit, present our startup, what we do, uh, and how the raw materials is supporting us. So we are based in Vilnius, in Lithuania and we're developing vibration energy harvesting technology, which is basically capable of converting vibrations into usable electricity. And the mean of that is to power the wireless IoT sensors in the industry and, and making them living a long and healthy life. So currently, almost all of the wireless sensors in the industry, uh, deployed wireless sensors, are powered within, within the help of batteries, which, which seems like a good, a good thing. However, those batteries have a lifetime, which is averagely is approximately five years there. So it means that after five years, those batteries will have to be changed manually by a human being, and that really costs a lot. It is calculated that to change just one sensor's battery, it costs approximately 150 euros per unit, and since there are usually a lot of like hundreds of sensors installed in the in the industry so that adds up uh, a major cost for the sensor owner and that that process basically repeats every 5 years and one more thing is that manufacturing of the batteries carries a terrible terrible impact on the environment of earth and uh, for someone it's more important for someone it's not that important but we have to mention that so how do we tackle that uh, we're, we're delivering, we do a source of renewable energy, uh, which can make the sensor solution uh, become absolutely fit and forget in the industry. It means that you just install it and you forget about it because it can live as long as you can think of. And uh, therefore, it can make you save a lot of, uh, a lot of money which would arrive uh, if, if, if the sensor would be installed within the battery. And in general, it creates a significant value for, for all the supply chain in the, in the industrial IoT. The real beauty of what we do is that we're yet the first and the only ones in the world yet commercializing the vibration energy harvesting within one particular uh, material, which is the piezoelectric polymer uh, thin film named PVDF and uh, prior our inception it was absolutely uh, no one did believe that this material could be uh, could be good at energy harvesting uh, and that can be fact uh, backed by the fact that uh, right now we're having approximately 30 times more uh, energy from from that material compared to any other scientists with uh, with their with their experiments in their lab so basically we're leading the world within the uh possible power output with that with that material and uh, uh, the international pct patent of our developed design is already pending and we are looking forward to file more and more basically a cloud of patents definitely there are uh a few startups in Europe which are doing the vibration energy harvesting as well, however, on somewhat different technology, which is uh, named the electromagnetic induction. And uh, this technology has some, some major disadvantages uh, because it is approximately three times more expensive. Uh, heavy metals are used there. Um, the manufacturing process of it is much more complicated. So when you put everything in general, uh, it makes an obvious choice to use the piezoelectric uh, one, uh, piezoelectric solution uh, developed by us. However, vibration energy harvesting is a technology which is absolutely new in the industry and it has a lot, a lot of potential. It will be discovered very, very soon. So this as well can be backed by the fact that one of our competitors just few weeks ago got acquired by Hitachi Vantara and that that means a lot that's that's a good signal for the industry I guess and uh, despite the fact that our core product is the vibration energy harvester uh, we're stepping into the sensor market by developing the autonomous wireless sensor uh, within the already implemented 
energy harvester inside. So we're going as a, as a with the turnkey product in the industry. Uh, after building a pipeline of almost 1,000 leads in our CRM and talking to most of them, uh, we have identified that energy harvesting is a very, very interesting uh, solution for everyone. However, everyone is not eager to do the implementation work of separate parts like energy harvester together with their sensor. So that's why we needed to turn that way and to develop this solution. And that is exactly where the EIT raw materials is helping us uh, because with their help, we're, we're developing exactly that uh, autonomous sensor solution. And the prototype of this product shall arrive in the middle of October this year, so basically in a month. And uh, we have already a number of leads who would like to try it out uh, as soon as it is available to for sale. And uh, yeah, we hope we hope we hope to crash crash some uh, some sales with it, and we'll see how it goes. Anyway, uh, already 15 companies worldwide have uh, purchased our development kits, which we already have. Uh, with our vibration energy harvester, including some big names like uh, Singapore Telecom, SKF Group, Siemens. And we have completed the, the Startup Hub Poland Accelerator. We have been through the Expreneurs Accelerator in Munich. Uh, we have almost uh, barely made it to 500 Startups Accelerator in, in, in the Bay Area. And uh, in June, we have raised our pre-seed round of 100, oh, 180,000 euros. And we look to raise uh, the next round in March 2021. So if if this technology is interesting and if, if we're looking for smart money, so if you could help us with this, we would love to talk. And uh, right now we are we're a team of four. However, due to the support of the raw materials, uh, we're capable of hiring more and more people. So till the end of the year, we should be a team of eight. And uh, yeah, if you consider yourself as a great mechanical or uh, electronics engineer and you would love to join, feel free to, to, to give me a note. And we're also working within the uh, local technical university, which we're subcontracting now, and they're helping to push our technology forward. So that's all from me. Thank you very much and uh, look forward to, to talk to you guys. Thank you very much, Donat, and uh, you will uh, be able to read more about uh, also your business on our website, uh, eitrawmaterials.eu. Thank you.